Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Gold is the key to oxygen on Mars. Let's explore! <laughs> Yes, this comes to us from Kitco, and it's a very interesting uh, bit of news here that NASA wants to make oxygen on the planet, and gold is going to be the key. Um, NASA is planning to make science fiction a reality this year as it attempts to make its own version of the Martian's oxygenator that could make oxygen on Mars using a golden box called a MOXIE which stands for Mars Oxygen ISRU Experiment. The experiment is part of NASA's March 2020 mission, which includes sending a state-of-the-art Perseverance rover to Mars Gerrero Crater. The launch day is July 17th, and the scheduled arrival is set for February the 18th, 2021. The rover is being manufactured by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the goal of the Perseverance rover is to probe the Martian rocks for evidence of past life. Throughout its investigation, it will collect samples of soil and rock and cache them on the surface for potential return to Earth by a future mission, NASA wrote. Another part of the experiment will be turning CO2 into oxygen by using a golden box, which the rover is equipped with. The Martian atmosphere is about 95% carbon dioxide, 2% nitrogen, and 2% argon. The experiment will attempt to see if it can liberate the oxygen from the atmosphere's CO2. If successful, it will pave the way for human exploration of Mars. When we send humans to Mars, we will want them to return safely and to do so, uh, and to do that, they need a rocket to lift off the planet. Liquid oxygen propellant is something we could make there and not have to bring with us. One idea would be to bring an empty oxygen tank and fill it up on Mars, said MOXIE's principal investigator, Michael Height. MOXIE uses solid oxide electrolysis, which is like a fuel cell in reverse. The idea is to take low-pressure Martian gas from the atmosphere and compress it closer to Earth's atmosphere pressure. This is a solid oxide electrolysis unit. What happens is we have Mars atmosphere enter in this line, goes into the unit, and then it's heated up to 800 degrees Celsius, uh, Moxie engineer Jim Lewis said last year. We inject energy into the cathode and anode, then what happens is oxygen is separated from the CO2 and comes down this line over here. And gold is the key part of it because of its unique properties. The box is made from gold because we were concerned that Moxie itself would run hotter than anything else around it. And we wanted to make sure we didn't impact any of the nearby electronics boxes inside the rover. Gold has a very low emissivity. Uh, which means it doesn't radiate heat effectively. Asad Abu Bakr, instrument and systems engineer at NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, told Seeker in March. That is interesting. It doesn't radiate heat effectively, um, whereas silver does. Moxie will be able to make six grams of oxygen per hour, which is just enough to keep a small dog alive, Abu Bakr said. No one has ever done anything like this, he noted. The oxygen system will attempt to sample different conditions on Mars, day versus night, dust storm versus clear weather, and summer versus winter. But it will likely only run once every two months in order to save the rover's energy for other science experiments. It's interesting, again, about that heat radiation. I guess that is something different than conductivity. Um, but to, to me, it almost seems like that kind of goes hand in hand, but maybe it doesn't. The oxygen uh, uh, system will attempt to sample different conditions on Mars. And as it talks about the, the different seasons and the like, in order 
to be used for future human Mars explorations, Moxie will have to be scaled up by a factor of 200, according to NASA. Last year, a team from California Institute of Technology found that molecular oxygen can be produced out of carbon dioxide reactions. The results, the research team has successfully uh, simulated this experiment by crashing carbon dioxide into gold foil. The idea of getting certain key elements from space has been reaching a broader audience this year, including the mining industry. During PDAC, the world's biggest mining convention in Toronto, Canada this March, space mining was a hot topic of discussion with key guests, including officials from Canadian government talking about the potential of space mining. The Kitco news team took advantage of this opportunity to talk to some PDAC attendees. Uh, so that is interesting, space mining, and we did hear talk about that. You know, kind of the ridiculous story about, um, you know, um, so much gold on an asteroid that we could bring them back and make everybody billionaires. Uh, but nonetheless, I think that's obviously a far-fetched idea. But the idea of that there is being discussed, at least in, with some seriousness, I think is quite fascinating. And the fact that they can use gold in this manner or form, I think, is really interesting. And they're going to actually do it uh, this summer with the launch and uh, of this spacecraft perseverance so it'll be fascinating to see how this plays out um and it just goes to show you that gold has uh uses that are make the metal quite unique and fascinating for many of us and this is a way that can actually create oxygen who would have thought it fascinating indeed post your thoughts below just thought i'd share this story with the community we like to extend a multitude of gratitude you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.